red zone opportunities and things. I get because the, uh, the offense got the upper hand in the end. Yeah. Unless that's wrong. But, uh, I don't know. We um, had a lot of situational stuff. Like, we, defense started out strong. I think we had like like four turnovers in a row. So we just got to keep the intensity up throughout practice. That's how I feel. Was there just a slippage after the early stuff? Or was... Yeah, I felt a lack of intensity as we got later in the practice. Um, it was kind of, they put the offense in position to win because they put us like goal line, four, fourth and goal. Like first and goal on the four yard line, so they put the offense in the position. Is there anyone on the defense who really kind of shows up when times get tough like that? A guy who kind of is a lineman or linebacker or DB, somebody who steps up and says, hey, come on now, this is, this is bad. Yeah, I, see, I would say Justin Coleman. Like, you can always count on Justin Coleman. Like, they, they hardly even try him on offense because they, they know that he's going to be um, consistent, so I, I guess he's the most consistent guy. You got, you got, you got a pick today when they try yeah, to Yeah, he had a nice looking pick, one handed. Y'all made a couple of those plays early. What, what was the, the mindset early on? It seemed like y'all came out to make plays early. Yeah, I felt we came out to play. We came out with a good mindset, and we came out to hit hard. So that's how we talked about fumbles and stuff. So that's how we um, disrupted the offense. How's everything? How's it? It's going well. It's probably about like 80%. Like towards, towards the later part of practice, that's when it starts getting stiff and stuff. But for the most part, it feels good. Brian, why do you think there was the drop off after you guys were able to force so many turnovers? Oh, and I didn't think. Uh, offense had a little bit of success, so that probably just got us down a little bit. So we just gotta, we gotta um, clear that last play and just keep going. And then when guys, when they are setting y'all up in goal line, and you know you have the disadvantage, who's out there trying to rally, and how do you stay positive in those situations and try to make those plays? Uh, AJ's a good. Um, he, he rallies the troops and he breaks us down every time we run out. So he's good at getting us together, and we just try to relate the on um, calls and just communicate with each other.